Hello everyone. How are we doing today? Oh, I'm doing great. I got my tea here. I'm not feeling super well again, which makes me kind of sad, but I guess, you know, when the weather starts changing, that's bound to happen. I'm with a lot of sick children all day. Oh, I left my flannel on my bed. Oh, well, it's fine. Hey, Brody, how's it going, dude? Um, just enjoying this Eterna City music, just kind of like the moseying cow poke music. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Um, I also realized that I am streaming against the NFL right now, and I know I'm way more popular than the NFL. Um, and I'm also just avoiding watching the Browns because my Browns disappoint me so very greatly all the time. Um, so we're going to do a little team recap. Um, we have our kind of weird makeshift team. Many of our squad members are not going to make it through the entire playthrough here. But we've got Inclusion, the Staravia. We've got Gasman, the Ghastly we just caught in Eterna Forest. Maybe we can lay a curse down on somebody. Um, we've got Skitter, the Pachirisu. Oh, he's got an Ultra Ball. Very cool. i got to pick that up. Um, we have Gilbert, the Rock Smashing Bidoof BB we just picked up from Mount Coronet. Maybe we can use that Hypnosis or Confuse Ray. And then, of course, we have our starter, Autumn, the Grotal, lovingly named by Brody. So I'm really excited. Um... I boxed a few of our Pokemon that were not going to do a very good job in this gym. Um, and the Eterna City Gym... Hi, Impotent Grandma! How's it going? The Eterna City Gym is really cool because you have to fight all of these trainers and you have to move this little flower clock to all four sections of the gym. And as you can see here, we can't move past these lovely little fountains or sprinklers, I guess. Um, and then every time you defeat a trainer, the clock will move and the sprinklers will go down. So you can leave the gym, but you still can't yet get to the gym later. It's lovely. I really like this gym. Um, okay. So we're going to try to get some good levels on Staravia right now. Mmm. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. It's been... I've kind of had some nagging stuff the past week-ish. Um, it's been pretty annoying. But, you know, what can you do? Um, let's see. Yes, um, the gym puzzle here in Platinum is different than in Diamond and Pearl. Um, in Diamond and Pearl, you still have to fight all of her gym trainers before you can fight, uh, Gardenia. But, um, oh, what was I gonna say? But uh, all it is is you have to kind of find them in a little maze of trees. It's nothing too crazy. Um, I was considering switch training a little bit, but... Oh, wow, a one-shot, baby. That is lovely. Okay, great. Endeavor, that could come in handy. Let's get rid of Growl. Inclusion has a pretty good set right now, I must say. Um, gonna really come in handy in that gym battle. As you can see, check this out. Around it goes. And then it's gonna take us, yes, it's gonna take us to the area over on the right, I believe, if it stops where I think. Yes, okay. <laughs> Um, so then you can hop on here, woo, and then you can hop off this way, and you can fight this trainer. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, it does move kind of weirdly fast. Um, I might see if Gas Man can catch a level, because if we can lay down a curse on her ace, that's going to be great. Um, I'll kind of work on getting Ghastly and Staravia the levels here to make to help us get through this gym. And this is something that you can really do in Pokemon games. You can really just 
like catch Pokemon near the gym that will help you with the gym battle. There are several gyms kind of like throughout the series where they really give you um, a Pokemon that you can catch right before that's going to really help. Because Ghastly's not terribly strong, but with its resistance to Grass-type moves, because it has the Poison-type, um, it's going to really be able to, um, you know, resist a lot of their moves. And same here with Bronzor. A lot of grass types are part poison, which we're going to get with this Badoo. Um, and we have that uh, Psychic type on Bronzor. Psychic and Steel type, actually. Boom, baby. Alright. Alright, let's... Let's keep battling. Because I'm probably going to go back to the Pokemon Center after this fight. But it is a... Well, I was going to say it's a beautiful Sunday here in Ohio. It's actually very crappy. It's very rainy. Um, not, you know, not to say that uh, people down in the southern United States don't have it worse. There are really, really bad floods and hurricane damage down there. So I don't want to complain too much about some rain here in Ohio, but um, it's a crappy day, and uh, just doing a lot of errands, getting a lot of stuff, um, getting a lot of stuff moved around. There we go. Oh, one more Badoo. Let's just get Gas Man in there, and we can swap train him with Inclusion. All right, this will be a one-shot. If it one-shot a Roselia, yep, I do as well. All right. So I'm going to let the Discord know. Um, oh, and as you can see here, the clock is going to move, um, but it's also going to put the sprinkler down. There we go. Um as you can see right there, so now we can go back to the Pokemon Center. Um, yeah, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be all right. Oh, you know what? We'll be fine. I'm gonna swap train Ghastly anyway. Hop. Um, oh yeah, so what I was gonna say with the stream schedule, I will put it in the Discord, but we have some crazy stuff this week. Um, I'm actually going to be out of commission for a little while. Maybe, maybe a full week. Um, which I don't love, but you know. Um, excuse me. I know a lot of people can't catch the lives anyway, so hopefully everyone can catch up on the VODs and uh, the YouTube stuff and while I'm away. and uh, Y'all won't miss me too much. I'll miss streaming, that's for sure. Um, but I, I will be back... Um, next week. Really, my plan is to stream today and tomorrow um, to get a couple in before um, and then I'll really try to hit it once we're once we're back. Um, there we go. Ooh, the floral clock moves as time flows. <laughs> Very insightful from that junior trainer. Um, and yes, it's going to stop right there so we can go to the gym leader. And now that uh, final set of sprinklers will go down so we can make our way back to the Pokemon Center before we fight the gym leader. All right. So let's go down here. We were able to get a level on Ghastly and a level on Staravia. I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I'm going to really try to st save Ghastly for the ace. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we can do here. We're going to give the gym a try. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to do. Our squad is kind of weird. <laughs> um, let's see. All right, there she is. There's Gardenia with her beautiful... Uh, cloud wallpaper in the background. 
We are going to start with Skitter, I believe. I have a little strategy for the first Pokemon that she's going to have. Um, save. Okay, here is Gardenia. I actually really enjoy um, Gardenia. I think she's really cool. I really like the Turna City kind of portion of this game. So here we go. I do want to point out um, the gym leaders all do this cool little movement. Like she goes like, hoo ah! <laughs> when you fight her. And she has a Turtwig. This is something that happens very rarely in the franchise. In fact, I don't know if I can think of off the top of my head another gym leader that uses a starter Pokemon. But she has a Turtwig. It's really cool. I like Gardenia. Um, <laughs> how can I call my friend weird? I guess you're right. I'm going to use Bide. We're going to see if this Turtwig... Ah, uh, a Reflect. Skitter's not really going to have much to fight this Turtwig. Ooh. She's setting up during my Bide. All right. Ugh. Guys, we boofed that. We really boofed that. All right. But we tanked that pretty well. Let's see if this can work. We should be able to take two of these with no critical hit. Let's see. If we can take a second one, we might be able to one-shot. Come on. No crit. Yes. Let's see. Erica in Gen 2 uses a Bulbasaur. Brody, I don't know if that's actually true. Does she on like a rematch or something? Oh, yes! Love it when a strategy comes together. That was gorgeous. It's really hard to use Bide <laughs> well like that. Um, okay. We're just gonna hop into inclusion for Cherim. Cherim is a really cool Pokemon. Oh, I think the sun is still up, so you're gonna see Cherim transform here. So that's what it looks like, but when the sun is out, after our Intimidate here, Cherim will change forms. Oh, the sun must have faded. All right, so as you can see, Cherim is kind of closed off, um, but when the sun is out, it will open up and look like a cute little cherry blossom little guy. Um, I like Cherim, but as you can see, we have the boring form here. Um, let's see. In one of her fights, she does. Interesting. Well, if you're just going to use Safeguard, we can wing attack you to death here. Ah, Leech Seed. Very annoying. I mean, we got this Gym Leader music. Oh, this Gym Leader music rocks. Is she going to use a potion here? Yes, she is. That is okay. I'm hoping for a critical hit here. I would love to get rid of the Leech Seed. Um, let's do that, actually. We will swap into... We will swap into... Gilbert. There we go. Magical Leaf is a new move. No, it's not. It's in Generation 3. Um, but it is essentially... Razor Leaf is a physical move. Magical Leaf is a special move. And Magical Leaf works a lot like Swift or uh, Faint Attack, where it is a move that never misses. Shockwave as well. All right. So we don't tank that super well. Um, I'm going to see if we can just knock her out with a quick attack. Hopefully. Great. Love to see it. All right. So now Gardenia has one... Um, it has one uh, Pokemon left. Roserade. Roserade is the evolved form of Roselia that is new for Generation 4. And here we're gonna try to set up a curse on it. I really hope we can. And as you're gonna see, it is super cool. Oh, I love Roserade. Really, really awesome. Roselia has like one rose for each hand, but Roserade has like bouquets, which is cute. Um, great Pokemon. Really hoping that we can survive one move 
so we can drop a curse on this bad girl. Alright, come on. Fight through that sun spore. This Roserade is notoriously tough. Awesome. Great. Getting a curse down on it is huge. Wonderful. Um, and now we're really just gonna kinda vibe with this thing. Maybe... Yeah, Magical Leaf probably knocks Ghastly out from this range, but... He did what he had to do. We salute you, Gas Man. We salute you, Gas Man. All right. Perfect. Already got some good damage off. Um, now let's go into BB. We'll see if we can put it to sleep. Because um, BB is going to resist its moves well. Might try to do another stun spore. Ah, Grass Knot. Grass Knot is a new move for Generation 4. It is the TM for this gym. Um, and what it does is it does damage based on the Pokemon's weight. It's a lot like Low Kick, which we've seen before, um, which makes sense. It's like using a Grass Knot to like trip the Pokemon, and if they fall over, if they're really heavy, it'll do more damage. Um, so BB can take one more of these. It's not super heavy. There we go. There we go. Under doesn't under level doesn't matter when you got the right strategy, my friend. Um, so let's get inclusion in here, and we can see if we can pop a wing attack. There we go. Lower that attack power. This might take it out, honestly. Oh. Fast asleep, no potion, because they had the berry. Wing attack, done. Ghastly. Ghastly, Ghastly and Bronzor, they made huge contributions in our gym battle. Awesome. That was delightful. <laughs> Love it when a plan comes together. We got off a bide one shot. That was a great fight. Oh my gosh, good work team. Mm. And here we get the Forest Badge. GG indeed. Gasman did save us. Um, ah, and we can finally use Cut. Okay. And I think we... Yeah, Cynthia did give us Cut earlier. We need to teach that to our Bidoof. And as you can see, she's going to give us the move Grass Knot. Um, and... The little flower clock goes straight outside. Um, but let me go ahead and get to our cut TM, or HM rather. We'll just give this to Gilbert. That's really his utility for us. He is our HM friend. We do have the defense curl rollout strategy on. Ah, and we have our new badge down here. Sorry, it's kind of, it's on my small screen. As you can see, our uh, coal badge has gotten a little dark because we have not shined it in a while. Sorry, I'm going to be shaking my, <laughs> shaking my computer. Because I have to use my mouse to do this now. There we go. I'll get a couple, a couple, uh, what you call it, sparkles on there. Lovely. Again, we'll be playing some sweet music eventually. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. So now we're going to be getting into a new section here in Eterna City, but first we're going to heal up the squad. I'll just try to get through this real quick. All right, I love this little ragtag group we've got. All right, so if we go here, oh, we have Rad Rickshaw's Cycle Shop. So if we go in here, the shopkeeper is not here. Where is he? Does this guy have any insight? 
Manager's gone off to Team Galactic building and hasn't returned. Oh, interesting. I wonder what's holding him up. All right, so now we gotta go to the Galactic building. Uh, but first, I forgot to do this earlier. I'm gonna grab this Ultra Ball from Pachirisu. That's lovely. So now we can finally use Cut to get in here. Will we use uh, Togekiss, you ask, Brody? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Um, first, I'm going to pop over here. The TM for Thief. Probably won't use that, but who knows. <laughs> All right, here we are. Uh, let me pop a save real quick because I have anxiety. There we go. So as soon as we walk in, we have our friend Looker, who is in disguise, bowl cut and all, um, in the Team Galactic building. <laughs> and uh, so we have to go in here and we actually have to find the owner of the cycle shop. Um, and he says there's an easy way to tell these stairs apart. One is a trap and one is not. I'm actually going to fight all the grunts in here anyway, because I want the experience. Even if a lot of these Pokemon aren't going to stay with us. Um, <laughs> he does take off their, his disguise in front of him. We'll fight these fools. The double Zubat. Uh, we have one great matchup and one horrible one. Um, that's no. We'll just tackle in case Spark doesn't kill it. All right, there we go. I don't know if these Zubats have flying moves yet. They do. <laughs> there we go. Actual move. Oh, we use absorb, get some of that back. So Team Galactic is really interesting. They are certainly one of my favorite um, evil teams that you encounter in the Pokemon franchise, of which there are many. But I do really enjoy Team Galactic. I think they're they're very cool and as you're gonna see they're gonna have a real interesting a real interesting Goal. Um, we'll get Autumn out of here. Uh, no, we're fine. We'll just use Razor Leaf. It's not going to be very effective on Stunky, but that's alright. I'd rather Poison Gas than something that actually does damage. Oh, there's that beautiful critical hit. Can we get one on the Stunky? Absolutely not. Okay. We did not even have to use Autumn in the gym battle. That was incredible. Yeah, now we're just kind of... biding our time here. Ugh. Still not quite. There we go. So I am actually going to check both staircases. I don't remember which way it goes. Um, ah, yes. All right, so that one leads to an item. What do you got? All right, so you're just a dude. Oh, interesting. So you walk up there, and it's like the trap, but he doesn't even... Uh, doesn't even... Uh, fight you immediately. You have to talk to him. Ah, here's Croagunk, um, a Pokemon that I really enjoy. It is a new Generation 4 Pokemon. It is a toxic frog Pokemon. Um, and we'll see some Croagunk later in our playthrough, which I'm excited about. So taunt means we can't use non-damaging moves. Torment means we can't use the same move twice in a row. Um, 
I will never memorize that. Um, there you go, Skitter. Really nice to have that electric move. All right. Um, oh, you're doing a Platinum Nuzlocke, a name for Piplup? Um, Pippi. Easy peasy. All right. Let's see what we got here. Um, we'll have BB in front. You know? Um, or... We'll have Gilbert in front. Go around the other way, around the bend. And I don't know if all of these people fight you. Oh, this person sure does. Glam me out. Perfect. Yeah, Gilbert's not going to be able to do much here. Um, let's just go into inclusion while we're thinking about it. There we go. Inclusion brought havoc to the Eterna City Gym. Um, let me see. So as we go up here, yeah, there's a lot more. There's a lot more to do. But let's see. Yeah, we'll go up and see that other trainer. Yeah, this person doesn't have anything. Um, I don't know if there's an item here. Maybe she might be guarding one. If so, we'll give her a try. Ah, uh, yes, I see one very faintly in the corner of the room. I can grab. Excuse me. Lovely. All right, we got three pokes. Ah, yes, I forgot we were asleep. Oh, boy. Now I can't swap out. I did not think I would wake up. Oh! Oh! That's four! <laughs> hey, Tech, how you doing? Thanks for stopping in. I very accidentally have set up a four rollout... Uh, Bidoof here that hopefully cannot die and not miss. Let's see. Oh! It holds on, but can it hit the fifth rollout? It cannot. Alas. Um, oh, good. <laughs> um, let's see. Ah, inclusion's gonna be good for us here. Oh, the pursuit! Ah, oh, gun catches us with the pursuit. Did not see that coming. But at least inclusion won't get hit on the switch. Oh, this is cool. This is a good fight. Um, yeah, Tech, we just had an incredible Gardenia fight. I encourage you after the stream to check it out. It was it was awesome. Um, let's see. We can swap train with Gas Man. We'll just get Skitter in there. Even though that's going to lower our sparks. Ugh. I'm just working my way through it, man. Yeah, Spark does nothing now. Because Spark, as you can see, was weakened by all those growls. Spark is a physical electric move, where in Generation 2 and 3, Spark was still just a special move. Ah, oh, you will, lovely. Thank you. All right. So we finally got past her. We need to take a stop at the old Pokemon Center for a little bit. Oh, an X special. I probably won't use it. <laughs> but at least we got it. I do love getting all the items. A part of me really can't just let it go. Um, so yeah, let's let's pop back down. Still have Looker sitting there. Sorry, I'll turn that off. While we speed on back. All right. All right, let's get back to where we were going. Yeah, that one's the trap. Here we go. All right, so it looks like we got a couple trainers here. I'll go ahead and save while I'm thinking about it. Perfect. Oh, so you don't fight, even fight me. 
<laughs> Hold on, we gotta talk to that guy again. Um, all right, so this this is where we want to go, but I'm not gonna go there quite yet because I see a couple items up there. Um, but listen to what this guy says. He says, "Ordinary people like you can't understand Team Galactic's grand designs." Come to think of it, I don't even know what's going on. Ah, <laughs> uh, how funny! I was about to say this guy's gotta fight us. He's guarding those two items up there. All right, so we'll do this fight real quick. Hopefully not get destroyed by a Kadabra. Um, I'm going to swap into BB, because he'll be able to resist. Oh, he used an X special. My goodness. Ooh. Here's a move I never use. Is Imprison. Oh. Imprison means he cannot use moves that I know. Which means he can't use Confusion. I don't know if that's just when um, BB is out, but we'll see. I never use Imprison, so hopefully it actually works, especially because he used an X Special. Oh no. Ugh. Alas. It does only work <laughs> that way. <laughs> Thanks, Tech. <laughs> you know, I figured, but I was hopeful. Um, all right, let's get uh, let's get inclusion in here because we can outspeed him with a quick attack and finish him off Because Grodo was gonna get knocked out Oh my goodness All right, so Skitter will use quick attack and hopefully knock him out um, Oh, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Oh, no Hold on Skitter Hold on, buddy. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We ran into this menace cadaver. I gotta go back to the Pokemon Center now. There we go. Because we're gonna need Star Avia for the last fight in here. Um, Alright, let's pick these up. A blue shard. I don't remember what the shards do in this game. Oh, and a revive! That could very much come in handy. As you can see, on the other side of this machine, we have a particular magenta-haired friend over there that is causing some trouble, so we gotta go figure out what that's all about. But, pardon me while I run all the way back. It'll only take but a second. Speed up is glorious. I really do enjoy it a lot. Um, specifically in this, specifically in this game. Um, let's see. Um, I don't remember what they start with. I think it's a Zubat. Um, right. So let's just get us back to where we were. Oops, wrong way. I don't know where I'm going. All right. So here, ooh, I love how the top of the screen gets darker in this top area. It's very, very, uh, just dark and mysterious. Um, all right, save here. All right. So we're gonna open with Skitter if they start with what I think they do. All right, so here. This person, well, first off, here is the the owner of the bike shop. But here, if you remember um, Team Galactic Commander Mars, here is Team Galactic Commander Jupiter. And she's causing some trouble. Her and her big, uh, her big bun there. Ah, um, uh, yeah, she does start with a Zubat, so that's good. Um, her... Battle is very similar to um, Commander Mars, because Mars had her Zubat and then an Ace Perugly. Jupiter has a very similar team setup where she has a Zubat as well, and her Ace is going to be something that you will see here in a second. Skitter is making quick work of the Zubat, thankfully. And there we go. Alright, her Ace is 
Gun Tank, which we saw Stunky, the skunk Pokemon. Ooh. And here is Skun Tank. His cry literally sounds like a fart. And um, it's this one is very strong. I think it knows Night Slash, which is a new move. It's basically the dark version of Slash. Um, I think this one has Flamethrower as well. Um, so this Skun Tank can be a real menace if we let it. So hopefully, maybe we can get a nice paralysis here. The Sprite of Skun Tank is great. Uh, you're so right. Yes! All right, that's good to see. Um, now we can get a charm off. Perfect. Really ruin that attack a little bit. <laughs> yeah, the lifted leg, that thing's ready to fire. Um, oh, perfect. We're just going to ruin its attack. So, it, so that way the Night Slash is way less threatening. Ooh, here it is. And again, this is a very powerful move. And even though we are minus two defense, he is, uh, she rather, is minus four. Now minus six attack. So her attack is all the way down now. So we can probably swap into whatever we want um, and not have too much trouble. It really, the only things that are going to do much damage is going to be Staravia, but we'll see if we can curse it again like we did against uh, Roserade. We should be able to with that. Perfect. Lovely. Oh, baby. We're cooking with gas now, kids. We've gotten some good luck. All right. Um, all right, I'm actually going to swap into Autumn, even though Skuntank's got some good moves for a, gro for a Grotal. See if we can finish it off with him. Yeah, again, that's not going to do anything with his attack all the way down. There we go. Um, I'm gonna use Curse and see if we can raise the attack power so that Tackle does a little more damage. Now, Night Slash does have a high critical hit ratio. Um, uh, let's see, <laughs> Main Haunter? Oh, <laughs> I don't know about that one. Um, let's see. I'll, I'll, def I'll keep Ghastly on the squad. How about that? Um, uh, missing tackles all over the place. But that's okay. This last curse will knock it out, and Autumn gets the experience anyway. I mean, this curse is really coming in handy. I'll give you that. Boom. Lovely to see. Ooh, Gas Man's learning Nightshade. All right, let's uh, we'll get rid of Spite. I'm not a big Spite user. And now Gas Man has another good attacking move. All right, so now we have defeated Commander Jupiter, made surprisingly easy work of her Skun Tank. That charm on Pachirisu really helped. Um, all right, so Mars collected energy from the Valley Windworks. Uh, Jupiter did her thing. Ooh, with the power of mythical Pokemon, he will become the ruler of Sinnoh. This is our last warning, she says. Well, don't be causing trouble then. Ah, yes, he stole... Um, uh, Jupiter stole his Clefairy. Ah. All right, so he goes back to the cycle shop. And, spoiler alert, um, he's going to give us a bicycle for helping him. So that's really helpful. Um, let's see. So we're still working our way down. I don't, yeah, Looker's gone. Um, all right, let's do this. Lovely. All right, I don't know. Let's pop in here. Because there are a few things that we're going to need to do. Oops, let's do this first. I'm actually going to deposit Bronzor. Bronzor did 
wonderful work for us. Oops, I can't control this thing. There we go. All right. Um, oh, I know. Yeah, we get that upgrade. Uh, the upgrade there in the Galactic Headquarters, that would help us evolve a Porygon into Porygon 2. Um, but we don't really have access to trades how we're playing the game, so we're not going to really be able to use that in this playthrough. And that's okay. Um, so first things first. Ah, yes. As we approach the bike shop, we have our friend Cynthia here. And she is really nice and she is going to give us a Pokemon egg and inside of this Pokemon egg is a Togepi. I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it because we are going to use Togepi's new evolution Togekiss in this playthrough baby. It's a really really good new Pokemon and I'm excited to use it. I don't think I've ever used one in a playthrough so let's do it. Um, and that is why um, I wanted to deposit bronze ore so we could have a slot for this here egg. Um, okay. So let's pop in here. And we can get our free bike. Cynthia knew we would be coming over here. That's why she was going to walk toward us as we approached. Um, Chancy but flying type, you're so right. Um, all right, so one, name it breakfast. I love that. Um, hold on, I'm gonna make myself a note. Um, Togepi nickname is breakfast. All right, um, let's see. My bad. Okay. So let's see here. Oh, yes. As the bike shop owner was telling us when he gave us this bicycle, I'm gonna register it, um, we can hop on our bike. And right here we are in the first gear, which is just like a regular old bicycle, but when you hit B, you go into the second gear and it goes a lot faster. Basically, this makes it so this bike is like the mock bike and the acro bike all in one. Um, you can't do cool little tricks on this bike like you could the acro bike, but it just gives you two different speeds, and that will be useful for some puzzles later in the game where we can pick up some good items. Um, and I'm just doing some nice little cycling up and down um, so we can hash this here egg. Um, and really the main reason we needed to stop off there um, was because here south of town, this is the cycling road, so we needed the bike. And this person is also telling us to pick up something called an Explorer Kit. Um, and that's gonna be in this house. <laughs> the flied egg Pokemon. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Um, all right, is this our guy or is it the other guy? Ah, yes. So this is the underground man. He is going to give us an explorer kit. And this is a big feature in Generation 4. I have never been one to use it much, but what you can do is you can go into like a big labyrinthine thing called the underground here in Sinnoh. And as you do, you can like look for items. You can like chisel away and find items in the wall. You can find fossils that way, which is really cool. It is a really interesting thing that they added, and maybe we'll try to take advantage of it a little bit more in our playthrough here. So yes, now um, he is going to give us our first mission, and we have to use the Explorer Kit. So let me show you how that goes. Let's use it. Oh, okay. So I can't use it there. Let's use it outside. Um... There we go. And <laughs> it's gonna launch DS wireless communications uh, because that was a feature when this game is played on a DS. And it was, the underground was like, uh, you know, a cooperative play um, or an online play 
feature. Um, and as you can see, we are down here in the underground, and there's the big map. And Rourke is down here. Sorry, we're on our my small screen here. Um, <laughs> it is so cool. Rourke is here to tell us that you can do anything you want. You can dig up treasure. You can make a secret base. Um, it's very, it's very, very interesting. And you know what? If we decide we want to do more episodes here in the underground. Um, maybe I can make the bottom screen a little better, bigger, and we can do kind of like a dedicated thing. Ah, but I will say, I'll show you this. You can see those little spots up at the top, those shining spots. This is where you can find stuff in the wall. If I have, can I, how do I dig? Can I just talk to the wall and I'll dig it? I don't remember. Maybe I need like a pickaxe or something. I have no treasures. It's so interesting because this is a part of the game I do not know much about. All right, for now we're just gonna go up. And we're back here where we started. And our friend, the underground man, I think is gonna give us some points for going down in the underground. Ah, uh, move trap, bubble trap, leaf trap. And I think what these do, they're kind of ways to mess with your friends if you're playing in the underground together. Um, all right. So we're gonna move on from that for now. Because again, Underground is a feature that a lot of people really like. I'm not really one that ever played with it. I'm sure there are people out there that know everything about the Underground and know everything that you can do. Um, but we still have some time today. I think I might want to do something cool. Let's see. Um, how many Pokeballs do we have? Let's get three. Get super potions. All right, we have escape ropes, repels. Just get five more. Okay. So we're gonna do this for now. Let's see what this bag looks like. All right, I'm fine with that for now. So. We're gonna do something really cool. And to do it, we need to go back to Eterna Forest. Um, let's see. We'll have Autumn first. Um, hold on, I am gonna pop down here because I think you can get some berries uh, and some items if you cut, uh, kind of take this shortcut around Eterna Forest. Um, yes, there's a bunch of berries over here. So let's do that real quick. Perfect. Lovely. We have this woman. She might give us berries as well. Oh, collecting accessories. She gave us a big tree. How about that? It's in our fashion case now. Um, and yes, that is where we went earlier. Um, this is just kind of, like I said, the shortcut around Eterna Forest. Ooh, and a silver powder. That's going to power up bug type moves if that ever comes in handy. And the TM for sleep talk. So we got some good items. All right. But with this little detour out of the way. All right, I'm going to save again. So, in Diamond and Pearl, you could not access the old gateau or the old chateau area until the post game. But here in Platinum, we have Gardenia, and she is talking about a ghost type Pokemon that lives in the old chateau. And she says she's so busy that she she, she can't go in. She's uh, 
Uh, she's too busy with her gym leader's uh, responsibility. She's not scared. But anyway, we can cut to go in here now. And this special Pokemon is available at this point of the game in Platinum, which is great because it's far easier to use it for a playthrough. And it's super cool. And I can't wait to show you. Um, we're going to use a Repel here. Grab this item. Ooh, an Aether, lovely. So here is the old chateau. And it's mysterious in here. There be ghosts in here. Um, so I'm gonna wander around a little bit. Here's a rare candy, I love it. Um, oh, you have this big abandoned dining hall. Listen to this music. It's so great. Oh, gosh. <sighs> um, I'm going to explore all the rooms here first. Make sure we get all our items. Uh, the old gato. It's a special item that you find here in the old chateau. And it is essentially a full heal. I think there's some some lore maybe that we can find maybe in these it's an old notebook there's something scrawled in it something peculiar should make off with the mother is maybe what it was saying what do we have here that's scary all right so now i gotta hop over here real quick and uh See what was in these notebooks. Because there's a couple here, as you can see. Ooh, nothing. Nothing in there. All right. Interesting. Okay. So we're going to come back here, and there's several rooms. Um, I don't remember which one is which. Ooh, okay. Um, Dread Plate. This is interesting. There's a text engraved in the back of the obtained plate. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. Um, it's very interesting. The Dread Plate, I believe, is going to power up ghost-type moves or dark-type moves. I don't remember. We're going to skip that room for now. There's some beds in here. What's going on, man? What's going on? Um... This whole place is just a, a gold mine of intrigue. Ooh! Did you see her? Over on the right? There was a, a little girl. Was she a ghost? I don't know. But the TM for substitute is there. Oh! So creepy and scary! Um, alright. We're gonna save. Because, again, something cool. So, when we go in here, you'll notice this place is abandoned, but the TV is on. In Diamond and Pearl, you could not catch this Pokemon until the post game, but here in Platinum, you can do it right after the second gym and use it for your playthrough. This Pokemon is Rotom, or Rotom, however you say it, and the TV has an oddly malevolent feel as if it is staring. But now what? You can only get it at night? Oh, crap! <laughs> oh. oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so what's supposed to happen... Okay, we'll do this on a different day. <laughs> oh, I was so excited! So what's supposed to happen is that the ghost Pokemon Rotom will jump out of the TV and fight you. And it's so cool and mysterious and awesome, and I boofed it, man. 
I boofed it. I'm so sorry, everybody. Ugh. My apologies. But we will come back, and we, we will catch him. It'll be really cool. So we'll do that later. <laughs> oh my goodness, how funny. Thank you. I will definitely be sharing that one later. I was so excited. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. I know, it was a, it was a, it was a, uh, what's the word? It was a rookie mistake going to the, to the haunted house during the day. Uh, that was hilarious. Um, but hey, we got all the items in there, so that's cool. Uh, we found a big pearl. We, we can sell that. Do, 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 what do, not buy. Let's sell. Um, ah, yes, the dread plate does power up dark type moves, not ghost type moves. Um, and we will sell you perfection. All right, so we have a little bit more time here. Um, let's save while I'm thinking about it. Oh, guys, that was so funny. <laughs> that was so freaking funny. All right, so now we can go through here. Do you give us something? You are an aide of Professor Rowan. Oh, Don's father as well, wow. All right, I've met 47 Pokemon, so he's gonna give us something. Ah, yes, the experience share. That'll come in great handy when our egg hatches. Thank you, sir. I forgot that was there. Uh, all right, fine. I'm on my bicycle. Happy? So cycling road in this game is very simple. It is just a straight shot over this big uh, ravine um, where there's actually some cool stuff to explore down below, and we'll do that later, but uh, we'll do a couple of these fights here on cycling road, and then we'll probably call it a day today. Um, Autumn's a nice matchup for a Pikachu, good as any. Hopefully we can hit it. Thank you. <laughs> he really does. He's just hanging out there. Gosh, that was so funny. I can't believe that. Um, um, oops. I was going to swap Pokemon. But, um, so this cycling road is on like an incline. So I wasn't able to pause there just because I was continuing to go down. I know, it's so true. Um, okay, we'll definitely stay in Eterna City, um, so that way tomorrow when we stream we can we can catch Rotom. Um, that's so funny. Oh, I need to switch out. Um, yes, we're all, oh, hello Zesty Alpaca, thank you for being here today. We are on Platinum, it's true. Hey, they, all of the previous episodes, they live on YouTube, so if you want to check them out, they're there for you, my friend. Um, let's see, we'll just go into Inclusion. Inclusion's going to be better. Swap in here. Ah, the flinch. Okay, I'll just, I'll just let Inclusion go. Get Skitter out. Ah, you peep the VODs, indeed, indeed. Um... But yeah, I was just saying, I probably won't be able to go live much in the next week or so. Uh, we are going to go live tomorrow, though, which is exciting. Um, thank you for being here. We just tried to go to the old chateau to <laughs> catch Rotom, but uh, unfortunately for me, I forgot that you can only catch Rotom at night. Ain't that silly. Um, let's fight this fellow. Do, 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 do. I th I thought this person had a Staravia. Um, that is fine. We'll get Gasman his experience, um, but I'll swap into Gilbert. I know, dude. You're telling me. You are telling me, Brody. This might one shot. Not quite. Um. Oh, Endeavor. Thank you. Let's lower that defense, maybe. Not quite. No big deal. Pachirisu should be able to do it for us. Um, 
At least I hope so. Love that we outspeed. Um, but yeah, next, uh, st the stream tomorrow, we will definitely uh, go do Rotom properly. Um, <laughs> I can't believe that. That's so funny. Again, I was pumped to show you all that. Um, that's why they call him Skitter. All right. So one thing that I think we can do with our last bit of time here. Nope, I don't want to do that. There we go. Um, I, <laughs> I was, I was like, Ugh. okay. So it's saying our egg will hatch soon. So to kind of cap off our stream today, I'm gonna hatch our egg. Uh, and I'm just gonna kind of let myself just kind of go in between these two fellas because it's kind of easy and mindless. It's a lot like what we did with our uh, egg hatching in Emerald when we were just scooting right on by the old, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the daycare. Ugh. I just remembered all that and got goosebumps because that just took so long. Um, that is true, Brody. That is true. But I don't know if we're going to use it. I don't know. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. If you love the bike music, this is great for you. If you don't love the bike music, I'm so sorry. Here it is speed, uh, sped up. It is great that they give you an egg right when you get to Cycling Road, and here, it is hatching. Oh, there's our beautiful Togepi. So excited to use you. Um, we would like to give a nickname to this Togepi. It is a boy, and his name is Breakfast. It is too cute, it really is. Um, even though, fun fact, I'm excited to use a Togekiss. Um, oopsie. I'm excited to use a Togekiss um, because, um, oh, you're working on a shiny hair cross and crystal? Oh, that's awesome. Um, so one thing that we're gonna wanna do with our Togepi is we are going to give them the Soothe Bell. And what the Soothe Bell does is it increases our Togepi's friendship as we go along. I think it's based on steps. And that will be very important because the way Togepi evolves into Togetic, its original evolution, is via friendship. So that's how we'll do that. Um, I will use the experience share at some point because um, it's at level one. Friendship is tough in this game. You're really right, Brody. It can take a long time. But, uh... We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. Alright. So, let's see. Oops. Uh, we were able to defeat Gardenia today. We have our new squad with our newly uh, new breakfast here. Um, and breakfast is, I think, only the second planned permanent member of the squad. <laughs> but I do love our little ragtag squad. I love having Skitter and Gasman. Gasman was imperative against Gardenia and Jupiter. Really awesome job with that curse. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to save here. Um, we're gonna hang out in Eterna City, so that way we can have Old Chateau Redemption tomorrow night. Um, again, I'm very sorry. I can't believe I messed that up. That's so funny. But, folks, this has been wonderful. I really appreci appreciate you being here with me today, and, um, I will see you tomorrow for more Platinum Fun. And hey, next week... Maybe not next week, because it's kind of weird, but soon we're going to be starting our new um, Every Other Monday series that in the Yu-Gi-Oh! slot, so you don't want to miss that either. Um, but yes, have a, wonderful get, uh, have a wonderful day, folks. Thank you. Um, excuse me. 
and I will see you all next time. Peace.